This is the Volkswagen Arteon, and it's a bit of a brave move for VW. See, it's not designed to take on the likes of Ford and Vauxhall, it's designed to take on the likes of Audi, BMW and Mercedes. I know what you're thinking, can they really do that with a Volkswagen? Well, to find out in this video, I'm gonna see how luxurious it is, I'm gonna see how much tech it's got, and just how expensive it feels to drive. First though, let's start with the design. The Arteon shares many parts with the worthy but unexciting Passat, but it's slightly longer, wider and lower, and that gives it more presence. The Arteon has some unique design features to make it seem a little bit more posh than your average Volkswagen. So the first thing is this, look at a clamshell bonnet. I mean, look at that, like on a proper premium car, makes it seem a little bit more unique. I also like this, the way the bonnet actually hangs over the lights a bit recessed, that is really cool. This one's on 20 inch alloy wheels and they seem to be powder coated, look really nice. And you've got this strong line that just runs around the entirety of the car and it really snakes out the hips, a bit like a BMW 4 Series. Now this, according to Volkswagen, is not a hatchback, it's a fastback because that's a way cooler name. But yeah, it's still practical enough. It's just not your usual average everyday family run around. What do you think of the look of this car? I mean, I personally think it looks really smart. And what I want you to do is forget about the badge, right? In terms of just the design, do you think this car is better looking than an Audi A5 Sportback or a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe? Click up there to vote. The ITN looks best in his sporty R-Line trim and cumin paint scheme. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. Well, get off your little beat or you're clashing with the car's paint. Other colors and trims aren't quite as attractive to bugs nor humans, but they're still fairly nice. And that brings us on to the Arteon's interior, which is just a little bit too familiar. Now, I can't fault the quality. It's, it's pretty good in here, and Volkswagen has chucked every last bit of kit they can at this car. So it's got leather, it's got the latest nine inch infotainment screen, we've got the digital driver's display here. I mean, it's all pretty good. Problem is, it's just the same as you can get in a Passat. Okay, so Volkswagen's new infotainment system is pretty slick, but being a touchscreen, it's not quite as easy to use while you're driving as a swivel wheel system you get in a BMW. And while the digital display is sweet, that in an Audi is even sweeter. Still, VW has tried to make the Arteon feel more at market to travel in than its other cars. Now, a true test of whether this Arteon can cut it as a luxury car will depend on how comfortable it is. So here in the back, I have my own dedicated climate control, which is a good thing. In terms of space, well, you can see I've got loads of leg room, though I should point out that my camera operator, Sam, she's driving it, which is a little bit on the short side. Headroom, well, that sloping roofline does eat into headspace a little bit, but only if I sit up dead straight does my head touch the roof lining a, a tad. Not too bad, though. Plenty of room back here. Then there's the other factors which relate to comfort. So how quiet it is here in the back. Well, I've got a sound meter on my phone. I'm gonna shut up for a second, see if I can get a reading. We're cruising along at 50 miles an hour. So let's see what happens. There we go, got a reading. It's reading 69 decibels, which isn't too bad. It's not quite as quiet as a reading that I got in a BMW 7 Series, but then that's a super luxury car, isn't it? Now I'm gonna check the vibration levels to see how comfortable this car is. So let me just put that vibratometer up. There we go, got a reading, 5.6 on the vibratometer scale, which is rather strong dishes broken if it was an earthquake. If you're not in an earthquake, the number means the Artian standard fit adapted suspension is pretty comfy, though it does sometimes struggle to smooth out sharper bumps. What the Artian doesn't struggle with though is carrying stuff. The boot is pretty much the same size as the cabinet's Passat, and being a hatchback, sorry VW, a fastback, that makes it even more practical. The Artian is a safe car too, as it gets Volkswagen's latest safety kit. As you're driving along, the car constantly uses its sat-nav system to know exactly where you are. And if it's at night, it can tell when you're approaching a bend and it will angle its headlamps to shine around the corner even before you turn the wheel. And then when you're using the active cruise control, it uses the same old system of radar technology and cameras to keep you a safe distance from the car in front. And it can also help steer you to keep you in lane. But once again, with the sat-nav technology, it knows when you're approaching a bend or a roundabout and it will automatically slow the car appropriately for that particular junction. It's pretty clever. There's also another safety system which is perfect for those worried Volkswagens are a little bit dull to drive. So let's just say your mind has been so numbed that you've just, well, you passed out, you just slumped behind the wheel. And the car should be able to tell that you've become unresponsive. And eventually it'll make a warning sound to tell you to, come on, wake up, you're all right. 
There we go. And it should be sensing that nothing's happening. I'm not responding. There's something clearly up with me. Like now it's braking. It's doing like a sudden jerky braking just to wake me up. Can you see it? Now it's braking and now it's pulling the car over to a standstill. It's put the hazard lights on and it will wait here until the emergency services come to get me. I think I might have annoyed the people behind me somewhat by doing that, but there you go. The system works. Hopefully you'll never need this facility. After all, the Artyon should make you feel alive. Well, this one should. It's the two litre turbo petrol with 280 horsepower and a standard all Artyons get four wheel drive and a seven speed automatic gearbox, which means you have launch control. So let's see how quick this car is to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour, depending on where you're from. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Yeah, that's that's quick enough. And that's, that's yes, that's that's easily quick enough. Whew. Right. Yeah, that was fairly quick. I think I might have said quick quite a lot. If you prefer, there's also a 240 horsepower, two litre diesel, which can do 47 miles per gallon. Though this less economical petrol is just nicer to travel in. As for the rest of the driving experience, well, the Artyon is that usual Volkswagen thing of being competent rather than fun. Now I can change the different modes of the car, so I can go from comfort driving mode through normal into sport, add weight to the steering, sharpens the throttle response, and it also stiffens up the suspension to make it feel more sporty. Is it more fun though? Not especially, it's still competent. And it's a bit of a shame because I can now feel the bumps a bit more, so I'm gonna go back to comfort. Oh well. Oh, Arty, and it's a bit of a shame you're not as exciting to drive as you are to look at. And that brings us back to the original question. Does this Volkswagen feel special enough to mix it with the premium brands? I do like it. I think it's a good car. The only problem is the price. You see, it starts from £38,000, which is a lot of money for a Volkswagen. For that kind of cash, you can not only get an Audi A5 or a BMW 4 Series, you can get a BMW 5 Series or a Mercedes E-Class. And this, at the end of the day, is still a Volkswagen. Now, if you click up there, you can actually get more information and configure your ideal car at carwire.co.uk. Dealers will come back to you with the best price they can do on it, so you can buy at a price you're confident in without having to haggle all from the comfort of your own home. Now, if you click up there, you can actually subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and there and there for some of our other latest videos. Hey, look, little Beatles back, the cheeky bugger. Clearly likes the Arteon. I don't think you can afford one, mate. A bit expensive for Beatles. Right, hey. There. And stay gone. Stay gone.